know, technology that we can use for the collection of the data. For this, after we can talk about the knowledge management and the, the, all the decision making for the policy maker. So, so I'm going to talk about the mobile technologies and how it can relate to climate change and give you some examples of that. You know, the weather station that the UN partnered with various uh, various telephone mobile companies and they station the piece, they established the weather stations and then those stations are used to send, you know, text messages to the power of mobile. Global scenario, so this is what it is. So 90% of the world population live in the mobile coverage area. So that basically says that, okay, mobile is going to be the next pop to the rural area every time and then get collect and private energy data is collected and come back in the city. The, the data probably is already obsolete because it's, the climate is changing so rapidly, and I guess you all know that. And this is one example where climate change, so this is the current question that is being posted on the Voice of You in Nepal website, so very interesting question. So the point is, like, this, this particular it's application, you know, behind it, uh, the, this application there is a mobile technology being used. So, for example, there always the Voice of You, it's about the UNICEF project that try to foster and promote the communication and the knowledge sharing among the youth. And this particular project, the targets the youth of Nepal. So what it does is there is one particular question, something like that. So it keeps on changing every one or two weeks, or I think in a month. I just want to give a little idea about how that application works. So basically when you have a mobile and it an SMS, it goes to the telecom operator and it goes to that particular application. So there is a real complex application, so we can't, we can we need not go into detail that. So that application does all the processing and it presents it in the website. So it's an NPC website, it can be any other website. And the users can log onto the internet and they can see, okay, this is what's happening. This is called Java Rosa and it's by this technology company called Dimagi and this Java Rosa is also one of the, it's, it's looked after by this Open Rosa consortium in this young, I mean, youth unicef is also partnering for that particular application. And it's a very interesting application. It's basically made in the Java and so people can create forms easily in the application. So when you're talking about the survey, you know, if you go to the, the rural area, so much data are coming out of, coming out of mobile. So, so it's not possible for us to go to the Excel file and you know see it and make judgment on our own. What is it? You know, it's possible.